why you don't use some of them and how we can kind of break this cycle so that we can continually make forward progress, but not only with apprehension, but also with confidence. Because as business owners, we are faced with millions and millions of decisions, even from the minute to the big, to the, the extravagant, to really simple mundane things. But as a business owner, we're not passing the buck to someone else to make the decision. We have to make all the decisions. And decision fatigue is real, friends. It's real. Decision fatigue is when you've made so many decisions that you stop making good and correct decisions because you're so overwhelmed with how many decisions you have to make that your brain is on overload and you're not able to make the decisions that you want to make that is best for you and your business and your bottom line because we make too many other decisions in life. So the first things first is what can you do in your life to make your life easier and automatic? Things that don't require decisions. I mean, you when you get in your car, you make a decision about where you're going. You probably made that decision long before you got in your car. But then you know I'm going to the grocery store. You don't have to make a decision about necessarily what grocery store you're going to. You know you pretty much go to Publix or you pretty much go to Kroger or Costco or wherever it is you all be. Uh, that's where you go. So you're not necessarily making a decision about that. But then other things like we have to make decisions every single day. What are we going to wear? What are we going to eat? How multiple times a day? What are we going to eat? Where are we going to go? How are we going to move our bodies? And then we have all these business decisions. What about this or this? I mean, even in your home, what contractor are you going to hire to remodel your kitchen? You know, there's so many choices, so many options. Same thing with our business. When it comes to tools for your business, decisions are going to be hard. There's no shortage of products to buy and services to buy and courses to buy and also which ones do I need? Which ones do I want? Everyone is saying the same thing. Pick me, pick me, do my service, do my course, do my thing. But you as a business owner need to two things before you can even decide what software or tools that you want to use. And this is more about how you choose the best of the best for you. Because the best of the best for me might be completely different than what works for you because of multiple things. Where are you in your business? What kind of budget you have? What kind of business model are you running? Where are you running said business model? Do you do you have multiple team members? Are you, you know, are you at this level or this level? Do you have a bigger budget than someone else? So your business decisions and the tools that you need and the tools that are going to make your business model the best that it can be are going to be your decisions. So what I'm gonna help you do first is help you make better decisions about anything. And then you apply that to the software systems or the uh, programs and tools and all the different things that you want and you run them through this checklist, if you will, of things that you need to do to kind of make a good decision. Because if you struggle with de decision fatigue and if you struggle with like overanalyzing and uh, analysis paralysis and overthinking like most of us do, right, then you need a way to start effectively and efficiently make those decisions faster and easier. The number one thing that prevents people from making a decision or having analysis paralysis and overthinking is because they're afraid to make mistakes or lose money. That's like the number one reason for like indecision or no action at all is like, really, I'm scared. 